the first reactions is, what is it? Too much horsepower in a cool old vintage car. It's a freak. When taking on a high-end muscle car customization, a 1972 Javelin may not seem like an obvious starting point. It's easier to get somebody to build a Camaro or Charger, but to get somebody you want to do a Javelin and they're like, oh, there, no way, no way. If you talk to all the Ford Mustang guys and all the Camaro guys back then, the AMX Javelin to them was probably the ugly duckling. But that didn't stop the Ring Brothers and they set about an epic year-long project, costing $500,000. There was a lot that was involved with that car. We lowered that four inches from where it was factory height. There's a lot of different suspensions out there. We chose to use a Detroit Speed 69 front sub under it. But there's one modification that sets this car apart, an extended wheelbase, shifting the front wheel forward six and a half inches with a completely custom front end, making this a javelin like no other. From the windshield forward, it's all hand-built and done in CAD and then hand-laid in carbon. Grill area bumpers were all machined out of several different pieces of aluminum. That was probably the greatest thing we did to change the look. I think that's why that car was considered ugly. People couldn't get past the front nose of that car. It was uh, really awesome. I don't think anybody's ever seen a javelin done to that level before. Customization complete. This vehicle is now owned by auto chemical manufacturer Prestone. Today, company test driver Bam is taking it out for a spin. This car is just phenomenal when it comes to just getting after it. When you mash this one, you better be pointed straight right in the right direction, because if you're not, you're gonna go for a wild ride. It's not a car that you can just turn loose to anyone, because the car will get away from you very quickly. This car will hang you right on the edge, and there's nothing there to pull you back. And that's no surprise, considering what's under the hood. A Hellcat 6.2 litre V8 engine is complemented by a Whipple supercharger, pushing this beast over 1,000 horsepower. We had to almost detune it because it was making way more than 1,000, so we ended up putting a bigger pulley on the blower to actually slow the boost down on that car because it was just too much power for it. It's a light switch, it's either on or off. The car is very drivable unless you decide to put your foot in it. And if you do, you better hold on. All of the changes that the Ring Brothers have made to this car, you don't see it every day. The power of this car is just amazing. The whine of the motor here in that supercharger whine, that's what I like the best about this car, the noise and everything. It sounds like an old hot rod. A new car kind of helps the driver to drive it. This being an older car with a lot of power, you actually have to be a driver to actually drive it. It doesn't have traction control. It doesn't have all of the features that the new ones have to where it corrects itself. You have to actually correct the car. It's an experience like no other. It's like you're climbing in a race car that you can drive on the streets. Best of both worlds. <laughs>